Hello guys, today it's the next rotation question, okay? So the previous two questions is about what? It's about describing the whole thing, okay? Remember this one? This paper with Kari Ah, that's the one, okay? So it's about using the traditional uh, textbook compass way or maybe you are using that legendary ruler way, uh? so that will be the two ways. Uh? But of course, some student might say, why not teacher? I look at it, I can really get the answer. Can I do that? Yes, why not? Okay, so about this, right? Again, about this. It's not it's not describing. This question is about I provide you this. Okay, you have to make sure you make sure, make sure, make sure you separate out like the difference of the questions, you know. The previous two videos, it's about I give you the object and the image and you describe the whole rotation process right now this is about uh, i start reading the whole thing up uh, state the image of the point three four oh okay so if i mention the word state the image it means uh, you are writing down the image but before you start even even start writing the image what you're gonna do you're gonna make sure you have this object to start right so where's the object there that's the object uh. Okay, so that's the object. So, nice. So, looks like you already get the object. Ah, that's the one, right? What happened here, it's already separate into three levels now. Nah. So, the first level, of course, it will be 180, the easy one. Nah. Okay, for 180 degrees, a very simple line. So, what you need to do is to take a ruler and just go directly off with it. Okay, because 180 is like, a bit, a bit looks like, little, like halfway of it, right? Nah. Okay, so why not just look at it? Now, case number one here, the one I write it in black color in time. Case number one, rotation 180 clockwise about center 0, 2. So you're gonna point your 0, 2 over here. And you notice that from this point to your object, you see a straight line this way, right? What you're gonna do is to take your ruler, uh, take your ruler. So let's say that's my ruler. Lah, huh? Okay, so you take this ruler and you play, place it over here just nice place it like this ah then you just further extend it you further extend means uh, okay i'm gonna use like maybe a red color lah. from object i draw 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 and you notice that this is the center and this length and this length shows the same amount right right done you get the answer already you get what i mean 180 nothing special uh, so you notice that your answer is here my image answer it will be negative 3 and 0. So this is 180, the easy, easy one. Okay, the problem comes is when your 90 degree comes in. Okay, so let's take all these things away. But keep it in mind, if you have your own way, that will be fantastic because you will be definitely way, way, way faster than me. So what, what I'm doing over here is to suggest you another point of view on how to get your 90 degrees using a complete drawing. So I name it as the Nazi symbol, huh? the Nazi symbol. But of course, Nazi symbol a bit like filtered. Anna. So my version is like, it looks like the, 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 the what's it called? The Buddha symbol. I don't know what's that called. Huh? So let me show you like how the process works. Okay. So for case two and case three, since it's about 90, it's about 90. So when you talk about 90, some students already say they can should we get the answer, you know, okay. But for my case, right, I'm going to show you like, this thing, ah, this is what I mean by it looks like the Nazi symbol, right? Okay, but don't care about that. Go back to this thing and let's see how I'm going to draw this thing using like two different steps. Okay, now so the two different steps, of course, I don't prefer students to like straightly draw that symbol out lah, because it might confuse some students. Because some students say, teacher, I can't draw this picture out. It's fine. Let me show you step by step. So the step by step thing work this way. Okay, step one. Okay, step one. So I put it over here uh, using my uh, green color first because since I'm just doing case 2 now. So green color, okay, step 1. I'm going to draw like a cross, okay, a cross. So this cross showing same length. You see that? Uh, it shows same length. So I make it bigger lah, so you can see it. So I make it boom over here. So it shows same length and this will be the center of course. So you see a big cross there with the center right in the middle, right? And you have like one part, two part, three parts, and four parts. The best way here is it allows you to get every single clockwise 90, anti-clockwise 90, as well as 180. Oh, that's 
the best thing, you know? Okay, but of course, I need to say this one more time. If you know how to do it faster using your own methods, of course, yours is faster. I'm giving you a different point of view. If you can't do like the fast way, okay? So that's my concern because I used to can't do rotation, you know? Okay, so the second step will be what? Okay, so I'll be using another color to draw the complete symbol, okay? So using the last point of all your straight lines here, so let's say lah, you go to the left one unit. Hey, then in order to complete the rotation, what you're gonna do? Ah, so you will come to this point. Okay, this point, you're gonna go up. Ah, so my question is, you're gonna go up. Okay, wait ah. So you go to the left one unit. So in order to complete your rotation picture, so this point over here, you're gonna go up or go down by one unit. So obvious, you have to go down by one unit. You are trying to avoid that, avoid that previous black color line. Okay, so to complete the rotation picture. So you go to the right side to complete. You go up on the other point to complete the picture. Can you see the Nazi smoke comes, it comes out already? Okay, but of course, student might say, teacher, I thought it's like, you have to extend further on. It depends on situation, okay? Some situation, uh, you have like one unit to me. Some situation even even go further, but let me fix it for you lah. Huh? Okay, so the second step will be the black color steps, lah, right? Okay, so I will just repeat it one more time. I use a different color lah, huh? different color, make it like colorful a bit. Now, step one, you're gonna draw a cross. Okay, so I draw this cross. Okay, same length one, and the center is right in the middle. Can you see I'm repeating it? Ah, uh, so. For this last point over here, it depends on your situation. So some student might say, teacher, can, can I go to the right? Uh, can. Then this one you go down, this one you go left, this one you go up. Look. Then you get the whole complete rotation picture. So you do this like two different directions. Nice. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to try out my case two. My case two. So everyone, object given. Okay, from the question 3, 4, right? Okay, so now, so now, 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 let's see the easy center O. But there's one thing before I start the Nazi symbol. One, Nazi symbol, if you know how to draw it already, try not. Second, second, you always go for horizontal vertical. What do I mean by horizontal vertical? Horizontal this way, vertical this way. Don't go slight. You go slight, gone. Okay, for students that don't know rotation like me, right? Gone. So better we go horizontal, vertical. Okay? But you know what is horizontal? Well, this is horizontal and this is vertical. Okay? So can you show it to me? Okay, nice. Okay, horizontal, vertical. Okay, so even the four years old know, so you should know it. So horizontal, vertical. So now, the center O, O is here. Ah, then, sorry, I used looking color. Huh? Okay, the center O, O is here, right? So wait, I said no slide, right? All, all will be horizontal vertical. So I go to a slide, don't draw. Okay, go here. And you notice that, oh, teacher, I thought you said don't draw slide. Yes, I said that. So what we're gonna do is to identify the, the horizontal vertical lines that I want. So I want you to maybe take like two seconds uh, to identify one right angle triangle for me. So do you notice there's a right angle triangle? Okay, never mind. I will just show it to you. Okay, see whether you can see it or not. This is the right angle triangle. Or maybe some of you might say, teacher, no, my right angle triangle will be way out. Yeah, no. yeah. So the obvious thing is you notice the right angle triangle shows a four by three. Four by three right angle triangle length, right? So I'm going to take the slide away and keep this in mind. The four three is just a method. It's an answering technique. Okay, so you don't say that, teacher, I thought that one is a coordinate, no such thing. Okay, I didn't mention that. Okay, I'm talking about the right angle triangles, uh, horizontal and vertical lines, right? Okay, so go back to the center, draw the big cross, the Nazi symbol comes in now. So you go to the center, draw using the longest length. Sometimes it might be the same number, and so you just simply pick one. Okay, but over here, always take the biggest one because it will be easier for you to draw. So. Of course, you want to use like a small one, also can, but normally we use bigger, okay? Bigger, it will be easier to draw. Okay, so you go up for, sorry, okay? You go up for, you go down for, 
you go left four and you go right four. It looks like seeing. Okay, can you see a big cross there now? So after this big cross, next, you get your final point, final point, final point, final point, and you're gonna use the remaining three units, the three units here to complete the so-called Nazi symbol, right? So horizontal, vertical only, everyone. So uh, you just keep this in mind, huh? number one, number two, number three, and number four. Which one, two, three, four, by using the remaining three units, you can only use horizontal, vertical, and you will hit the object. Obviously, number one, everyone. So you take this, you move to the right, move down to avoid, move left to avoid, and move up to avoid. Fantastic. You got the, you, you got the every single point, you know. Inside clockwise 90, anti-clockwise 90, you get 180 as well, you know. Okay, so that's why I say it's a bit troublesome, but I, I personally think this is like one of the, another option for students to understand in detail on how to perform like a complete rotation. I hope this helps, huh? Okay, so object is over here, so obviously my answer is not here, right? right? Because that's 180, I don't want that. So you left 90 and you left 90, and now the question says clockwise. So let me turn it for you, uh, clockwise, uh, clockwise, uh, clockwise, right? right. So your answer gonna be number one or number two. Your answer is obviously number one because they want clockwise 90, right? So you're gonna take your answer over here and it shows what? It shows, I draw it in, I write it in green color, lah. it shows four and negative three. So my image gonna be four and negative three. Okay, so you might want to draw it on a square grid and try it out. Okay, so if you know how to perform this, then fantastic. Okay, then fantastic. But of course, I'm showing you one point. SPN normally they ask like one point, but for form two students, like, let's say you're watching this, right? You might you might want to perform this on a, on on like a few points because your your question might give you a complete picture with four points, like a trapezium, for example. Then probably you have to perform a few times. But the more you try out this method, right? you can roughly go into this imaginative way of answering it all. So I'm the one that after I perform this, I understand this whole thing, right? Then eventually when I start teaching students, I look at the question, I look, look, look for a while, right? I can guess where the answer is. Ah, so that's the ultimate level already. Ah, so that's the one. Okay, so now I'm going to go to another third question. Okay, after this third question, then we got to stop, okay? So let me take this away, take this away, and this color, all these things, just take it away. Okay, so we're gonna make it clean now. Okay, so just now we have that answer there. I just put it there. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. So, yup. Okay, yup. Yeah, huh? So, we have the third case, the purple case. 90 degrees anti clockwise about center. Negative two one. So that's your new rotation point. I repeat, rotation point is the one that you put across, right? Ah, uh, so now start. So you notice that here, oi, a slight acid. Don't draw that, right? Just focus on the what? You focus on the right angle triangle that you see, and this right angle triangle being three by five, or maybe some of you might say, teacher, I go this way, cannot. Hmm, five by three. I don't care. The main thing is you know the right angle triangle numbers okay so i put here five by three lah okay five by three is not a coordinate lah. so take away the slide and go to the center and draw the remember you go five up you go left five down five and right five and now all the final points you perform this remaining three units but horizontal vertical only right so you go which Final point. So I write out uh, one, two, three, four. I'm going to use number four because obviously if you take one, right, it's a slide. I don't like that. I say I don't like flight. I hate it. Number two also cannot. Number three even worse, right? So take number four. You see three units, thumb. And then the rest of it, three, three, and three. Nice. The nothing more comes out already, right? Okay, bell, clap hands. Nice, okay. Nah. So, okay, so your answer obviously not here. 
it will be here, the 90, here, the 90, but anti-clockwise shows where. Okay, let me draw it up. So this one not the answer because 180, I don't want that. So 90 is over here, 90 is over here. Anti-clockwise, it's here, cry night. So your answer can be this answer. Okay, this answer. So I take this answer and it shows. Okay, down. Minus five. Okay, it shows an image of minus five and six. Fantastic. So I repeat, you might want to try out the ruler way. Try not. So you can use your creativity, all the tools that I provide you, like the different different skills, but there are so many different different ways of answering it. Just go ahead and try it out. Apply your creativity, man. Yeah, the math is about creativity, guys. So apply creativity, get your answers, and just look at them here and say, yeah, I have a better answer. I uh, not better answer, sorry. It's about a better method to get your right answer. Okay? So go ahead, spread your creativity. Bye. Okay? Bell say bye. Loud bye. <laughs> okay, bye bye everyone.